reliable car, right? That can make all the difference when it comes to being self-sufficient. I mean, For you sure. really think of it like, as you get a little older, it's the biggest sign of independence. Yeah. I can actually get places, especially that independence is important for single moms. Our buddies over at White Bear Mitsubishi have teamed up with Newgate School in Minneapolis to provide single moms with much needed transportation. Check out one of their stories. Newgate School has actually been part of the Twin Cities community for over 40 years. We started in 1975. The mission of the school is to help support young adults, men and women, lower income, to become more self-sufficient and more independent members of our community. Wheels for Women started in the mid 80s and it really came about because we saw a particular need for a, a group of people, meaning women, young single moms with children. We saw that it was a real, a real barrier for them um, to raise a family and try and maintain a household, get to a job consistently on time without reliable transportation. So Wiper Mitsubishi is proud to partner and sponsor with them uh, to one, help encourage people to donate their vehicles to them by us becoming a drop site, but two, by helping them source vehicles that could be donated to women that need them for transportation back and forth. It was the biggest blessing. Me and my kids walk about 10 blocks just to get on the city bus, and we have to leave about four to five in the morning so that I can get to them to daycare and me to work on time. I have a 12-year-old son, a nine-year-old daughter, and then I have boy-girl twins that are seven. Kaden is my video gamer. Kylie, she's uh, definitely my mother figure. She likes to take care of people. And then my twins are crazy and get in trouble quite often. They're mischievous. We are able to go out and do more. Um, I don't have to rely on other people or the bus system to take us places. Um, it would take a week to get to go grocery shopping just because I'd have to wait on a ride and you can only take four bags on the bus. Most important part of our program is the car donations that we get from the community. We depend on those and um, the generosity of people that bring those vehicles in. Newgate School uses donated vehicles to help educate and train students on vehicle repair. So whether it's engine repair, body repair, all vehicles donated get fixed up so they can be donated uh, to eligible mothers or they get fixed up so they can be sold and help fund the school because the school doesn't actually charge tuition uh, for the students learning how to fix body or engine repair issues. Our goal is to give away um, at least three cars per month, so that's 36 cars for the year, but with the new partnership we have going with White Bear Mitsubishi, we're really hoping to expand that program. Coming from a single parent household myself, um, in a low-income situation, I, I certainly identify with the program, and it's really great to be part of it. Thank you again for this blessing. It meant the world to me and my kids. Isn't that cool? That's amazing. I just love That's Richard, amazing. too. Richard from White Bear Mitsubishi His just has such so a big, big heart. Yeah. He really does. Yeah, it's really incredible, and he really uses what he has to pay it forward. Yes. If you would like to donate a car to the Newgate School or you're in need of a car through their Wheels for Women program, we have a link to all that information on TwinCitiesLive.com, and we want to say a big thank you to White Bear Mitsubishi for sponsoring for sure. our show. Hey, next 